Why are you single? I'm going to say this one time, okay? Are you listening? It could be because I'm an empath who is attracted to emotionally unavailable men and that I also view red flags as some sort of amusement park that will eventually spin me around in a narcissistic circle until I vomit and then spit me out with a brand new duffel bag full of emotional abuse issues that I now have to pay a therapist for to work through all by myself. Also, I'm fucking weird, okay? So this chick was asked one simple question, which she answered very honestly, by the way. Okay, and this is a question that clearly triggered her and will trigger a lot of females like her who are basically chad chasers or carousel riders that refuse to get off, refuse to lower their standards, refuse to shop within their price range, but continue to chase that unattainable guy that they just can't get that is causing them all of this emotional heartache Okay, and that is causing them to be so defensive when asked why are they still single, right? And again, she was pretty honest about it. So kudos to her for at least not trying to hide the fact of why she is still single. But I'm going to add to her little rant about why she's single and uh, the fact that many women, not just her, but many, many women like her, um, even if they were placed in a healthy relationship, uh, they would not be able to function because, as we say, once a hoe, always a hoe. Uh, I have a new saying for you. Once a Chad chaser, always a Chad chaser. Okay, These women are just dysfunctional out the gate. Okay, They cannot function in a normal, healthy relationship with you. And just to go beyond that, once they've ridden the carousel long enough and they've banged enough of these chads, at least 10 of them, um, you know statistically, because I've, I've done a coaching video on this, statistically she has a 33% more chance that she cannot stay in a healthy relationship with you where she won't cheat, she won't monkey branch, she won't drop you for some other dude, some hot guy who started at her work. No, this is just how they are. And sadly, you know, a lot of guys find girls like this. And, you know, sadly, a lot of them are pretty good looking too. Like this chick, even though she's a, a, a little wigged out, she's not bad looking, still got a nice tight body. Um, they're just not going to make good partners. De they're definitely not girlfriend material guys. So just write them, uh, like write that off right away. Definitely not wife material. Do not have children with these women. These women are destined to be single. They are destined to ride the CC. Okay, they are not destined to be with you and raising, you know, little Joey in a happy family with a white picket fence. No, they are destined to be single and ride that carousel until they can no longer ride it, until they get booted off, basically. And then once they get booted off of that carousel, you know, by force, they get escorted off. Um, that is when they get on these dating apps and start saying, you know, crap like, I've had my fun. I've had my fun, guys. I'm ready. I'm all ready. No. Even even those girls who are like, I've had my fun and I'm ready for you. No, they're not. Because the second that they get any attention from a higher value male than you, guess what? They're bouncing. They're gone. Okay, this is why I say, once a hoe, always a hoe. Once a chat chaser, always a chat chaser. You can't change it. It's just ingrained in who they are. Okay, and I, the reason why we do these coaching videos is... You know, not to like put you off of women, but to put you off of these type of women, right? Put you off of these type of like so-called modern women, right? Or dysfunctional women, Jezebels. That's what I'm trying to stray you guys away from. And instead focus on the good women that out there out that are out there, right? The the few that are left, right? They're out there, but you just have to dig a little deeper. You have to dig a little harder. Right? You have to do a little more filtering. Just that's just the nature of the beast, fellas. That's the culture we're living in because society, media has basically, you know, created this culture where women are being encouraged to be dysfunctional like this, right? And the ones that are already dysfunctional are even becoming even more dysfunctional because they're being enabled like this girl here. I mean, she literally admitted in her rant that uh, she... You know, why am I still single? Oh, maybe it's because I'm attracted to guys with red flags 
and I view it as an emotional amusement park and it's fun and I love it and then I get off that ride and then I need to go see a therapist and it's just part of the fun and you know and then at the end she's like oh it's because I'm weird you know no it's because you're dysfunctional baby you're you know you're damaged I mean that's how else can I put it right I, I call it like I see it she's she's DG what do you want me to say that's what DG looks like right if we're gonna do a, a coaching video hey what does DG look like Em here you go watch her right I mean, just again, kudos to her for at least being honest about it. She's not sitting there lying, going ah, like a lot of these other chicks on their on their little rants, like, "Oh, I don't know, why I'm single. I, people tell me I'm too pretty to be approached. I'm too intimidating. Nobody wants me." It's like, girl, you're hot. How come you're still single? I don't know. I did. Nobody wants me. What about the 20 million guys in your friend zone? Who? So at least she's being. Um, honest with herself and you know is she does that mean she's gonna change and she's gonna you know turn over a new leaf no because man, many of these girls don't end up doing that they just continue riding out riding out um, you know staying on that ride and not getting off and then just complaining about the men that take them for a ride when they voluntarily choose those men they voluntarily choose those bad guys to date, to bring into their lives, to let between their legs, and then they complain about them. Right? All the, all the while, like all these nice dudes and simps and incels and betas that uh, are invisible to her, she just ignores them. Right? They don't exist in her world. Right? What have I told you guys? Simps are completely invisible to uh, most women, right? They're just non-existent. Why do you, I don't even understand why guys still simp in this day and age. It's, it's so pathetic with the amount of this type of knowledge that's out there. Why you're still simping, why you're still trying to live this Disney fantasy. Why? You know, I mean, anytime I have to pull these vids off TikTok, I, it depresses me. I can only stay on TikTok for so long. Um, not only because the women are like complete garbage, but the guys on there are complete pussies. Complete betas, complete simps, right? 99% of them are, maybe more than that. Right? I've seen very few guys actually stand up and really like tell these girls what they need to hear, right? I, and whenever they do that, they get shut down pretty quick because they're just surrounded by betas. It's like a losing battle. But uh, there are so many simps on TikTok, it's just pathetically sad, right? So many of these guys... Uh, obviously being raised by single mommies and uh, you know not having a strong father around no strong male role models not even on TV anymore right everything has been completely feminized and pussified so what is this creating it's creating a generation of pussies these guys who are like pussy beggars who don't have any frame don't have any backbone don't have any boundaries they'll just let women walk all over them right walk right all over them and will that ever get them anywhere? Absolutely not. They're just going to stay incels. They're going to stay single. Uh, they're going to keep banging these chicks or dating these chicks who are way below what they're they're actually capable of getting. Um, while, you know, the bad boys, the pookies, the ray rays of the world are going to be basically running amok out there and getting all the women for themselves. Which, hey, that's fine. That's fine, right? The strong survive. The strong survive. So... She is, you know, she's literally saying that uh, she, that is what she's attracted to. She's attracted to these emotionally unavailable men, as they, are, they keep saying. These guys that just pay me no mind. These guys that are like sleeping around behind my back with all these other women. I, that's the guy I want. You know, the reason why they want guys like that is because, again, they are dysfunctional to begin with. They are damaged to begin with. And these are not the type of girls that you want to be bringing in your life, even dating, right? Um, even dating, even banging. Like, oh, I got a lot of guys like, oh, I just bang and clang. It's like, uh, great. What happens if she gets pregnant? You're screwed, right? You're screwed, uh, which is why you just don't want to deal with these chicks to begin, these type of chicks to begin with. Just find yourself a good woman who's not out there, um, you know, especially who's not on TikTok, first of all. I mean, I think that's the first red flag is chicks on TikTok. Second red flag is she's literally bragging about um, the guys that she does pick that are bad guys, right? She's, she's not lying about it. You know, she's basically being completely honest about it. You know, so 
what does that tell you? Do you really want to have a girlfriend that you'll tell people like, oh, yeah, she's on TikTok ranting about uh, how she likes guys who, uh, who piss all over her, who take a massive dump all over her and laugh about it, that send her to the therapist? No, you don't want that, right? That, that's not a girl that you can ever respect. So the fact that a lot of these girls want to be respected when they don't even respect themselves is just mind-numbing. It's mind-numbing. But as always, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of her little rant there as well as my own. Share any comments you would like to share below with the tribe. Anything you'd like to add that I might have missed, drop those comments below. I always love to read them. I always love to see you guys in my comments. It's always entertaining and... Uh, Love seeing you guys down there, so drop them below. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Do not forget to smash that like button right now. Do it now. More importantly, guys, make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you're notified whenever I upload a brand new coaching video to my YouTube channel, but also whenever I go live. A lot of you guys have been like, hey, M, I don't know when you go live. And then I found out the next day you were live and I missed the whole thing. This is why you got to make sure you hit that notification bell as well for the 33 secrets. So you are notified whenever I do a live stream and I tend to do these live streams just on the fly whenever I feel like it. Okay. Those tend to be the best ones. And on those live streams, you can ask me questions. And I answer a lot of guys' questions for free. So you want to make sure you hit that notification bell as well. That way you're notified whenever I do a live stream and whenever I upload a brand new coaching video here to my channel. Okay, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And for all of you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world are constantly and consistently cold approaching and cold closing every single day, every single week, and every single month all over the world. I kid you not. That is how powerful this skill is. Learning pickup, learning game. This is a skill that you can use not only to bring eights, nines, and tens, beautiful women, very attractive women into your life, but it's a skill that you can use in every other aspect of your life. Whether you want to get into better shape, you can game yourself. When you, Whether you want to get a better job, a better career, you could use these skills as well. I was able to get six-figure corporate jobs with Fortune 100 companies. I beat out hundreds of candidates to get these jobs, all thanks to my pickup and game skills. I was able to build a very successful business using my pickup and game skills, doing what I love. And now here I am acquiring other businesses, negotiating with other entre entrepreneurs for their businesses and their e-commerce sites and websites, cash flowing sites, using my pickup and game skills. It's like a billion dollar skill at this point. It's that powerful. Okay, so you can not only use it to gain the lifestyle that you want, beautiful cars, beautiful houses, beautiful women, but you could use it to just take yourself to a, another level. Okay, that's how powerful this stuff is. So right now, it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me in seven months of mastery. So take advantage of it. It's really easy to get signed up. All you need to do is click that link below. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds and like I said, it's the best way to support me in what I'm doing here. So if you want to support me, that's the best way to do it. Jump into Seven Months of Mastery. It's only a buck. Click the link below. Take you over to my website and you can get signed up right now. It takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. Signing out with the DeLorean. So many of you guys are like, hey, why are you always traveling? Shoot at home. Shoot at home.
So here I am shooting at home, but I'm about to travel in about a week, so I'll be gone for a month. So trying to shoot as many as at home as possible, so you guys stop asking me this question. Like, shoot, my at home. I always traveling. That's what you do when you live the life. You travel, you live it like a rock star.